The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today for the Sunday readings for this upcoming Sunday, the second Sunday after the Epiphany, falling on January the 14th this year. So let's hear God's word together and pray together. The theme that ties the readings together for this second Sunday after the Epiphany is God, um, the Lord God is with you and reveals himself to you by the preaching of his word. Again, the Lord God is with you and reveals himself to you by the preaching of his word. We begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord. Our first reading, our Old Testament reading, comes from 1 Samuel, the third chapter, verses 1 through 10. The young man, the young man Samuel, was ministering to the Lord under Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here I am and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down. And the Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and he went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the young man. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place, and the Lord came and stood calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant hears. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle lesson for this second Sunday after the Epiphany comes from 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, verses 12 through 20. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two will become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were brought with a price. So glorify God in your body. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our gospel lesson comes from the Gospel of St. John, the first chapter, verses 43 through 51. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. 
Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord God is with you and reveals himself to you by the preaching of his word. The Lord Jesus calls Philip and Nathanael to come and see that he is the Son of God and the King of Israel. And they shall see even greater things than these, for his body is the temple of God on earth. And by his priestly sacrifice, the heavens will be open to all who believe and are baptized into him. Therefore, he calls Philip and Nathanael first to hear his word and then to speak as apostles, even as he once called Samuel and established him as a prophet of the Lord. As the Lord was with Samuel and let none of his words fall to the ground, he also accompanies and upholds the preachers of his word in our day. Thus, by the gospel that is preached to you, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you. And since your body thus belongs to the body of Christ, is meant for the Lord and shall be raised up like him, now glorify your body in God. Let us pray the prayer of the day for this second Sunday after the Epiphany. Almighty and everlasting God, who governs all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the prayers of your people and grant us your peace throughout all of our days. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.